Hey there, it's time for another flip through. I'm still in my Filofax Maldens. The size is pocket, the color is stone. It's uh, June 2019 and I've been uh, switching up a couple of things in here. So I just wanted to show you. Sorry, I keep wiggling my fingers. Hi, everybody. Let's take a look. First off, I'm still using my friction pen. Uh, I was it last month that I was still using the blue one, but it had cracked and I had a rubber band around it. I then found the black one here um, and the grip on that one was all gummy and old and weird and gotten oily or something. So I threw out that part of the black one and this part of the blue one and frankened them together. Um, it used to match my dashboards in the front, but it doesn't currently. So I think I've been meaning to switch it to the red barrel. But anyway, this is what I've got. And I just have it clipped. Um, to this binder clip that stuck around the back, uh, like extra paper, which we will get to. I did a whole video about these dashboards and uh, tabs in the front with the Winnie the Pooh characters. Um, so check that out after you watch this one, how I made these. Uh, let's see, for a while this month, I took out all of my cards and wallet stuff uh, just to kind of slim things down because it was feeling super chunky. Then I realized that I really liked having them there just for the convenience of having them there and not having to carry a wallet and a planner. So I put them back, um, I think in the front, let's see, I have my driver's license and my primary credit card. The middle has these little page flags that from Daiso. Um, oh, it has this little scratcher from Twin16 that I need to redeem, so I have it in here to remind myself. And then this uh, card has washi tape on it. Then the back pocket has two more, like a credit card, a debit card, my library card, and my health insurance. So it's a little bit, it's a little chunky. I don't have anything currently in the zipper pocket, or I might have like a single postage stamp. Yes, I have one postage stamp in here. Um, because adding change really, really bulks it up. Anyway, um, in the back pocket here, we'll just do all the, the pockets first. I have a check, um, no cash currently, that's still in the other wallet. And then I have some stickers in here that I kind of keep handy. These are all Twin 16 stickers also. Um, I just like to have a couple of them here, like these ones and these ones are good for spur of the moment, like dailies or adding things to my weekly as they come up. Also these are handy for that, so. Then we'll switch to the back pocket real quick. This also, uh, I never resolved this in the um, dashboard planner tab thingy video from last week. Uh, this is one of the ones that I, the, one of the pieces of art that I made and I did not have to photocopy this one. I just laminated it, trimmed around and it's now currently holding a little bit of washi tape and it's just cute because it sticks out of the pocket here. I thought that was cute. Look at that. There's something else in here? It's sticking. Ah, oh, yeah. Those little sticker samplers are back here. I think I want to stick those in here, though, so that they're not getting in the way. And that's everything on the pockets. So let's begin. First section, as always, to-do lists. So this is my context list. This is actually the one that I did for May. Uh, if you remember that plan with me, link up there. Um, so the teal colors from May, but I just, I didn't fill it in. I didn't feel like making another one for June. So this is what we've got right now. Um, I'm thinking of switching up my categories for July, but still just thinking about it. Um, recurring tasks. I've now spilled over onto side two. Uh, the waiting on list does not get used a lot. The someday maybe list also doesn't really get used very often. That should change, but whatever. Tab one monthlies. Um, I added the pictures of the baby to the back of these dashboards, so they're super cute. Here's my monthly and how I've been doing there. I think I have not filled out my tracker yet for the day I'm filming, but I just go through and, you know, I fill this out and I cross off the things on the side here as they get done. Then my future log. I've, um, I already said this, but I kind of color in and add decoration to it as I fill in the month. So as you see here, the second half of the year is not decorated. And then I added this, which is, um, this comes from 
the like year long calendar. Now I haven't checked that this is something that's available for 2019, but at least last year in the Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook page, there's a freebie that was like monthly calendars and the cover, like the front and back pages of that, if you were to like do it as one whole chunk of an insert, the front and back pages were this, um, and it just says, you know, January through December. Um, what I did was I just printed those two back to back. So this is my 2020 future log. So anything that comes up that happens next year, I put on here. And then this side is for anything beyond that. Cause there was one thing that's for 2022 that I just don't want to forget. I feel like if I set a reminder for myself in Google, like there's like their reminder system is a little bit broken. So I, I don't know if I trust Google to remind me three years from now. Anyway, birthdays and anniversaries hasn't changed. Tab number two is weeklies. So we've got a couple extra ones in here from previous weeks. I don't remove them every single week. I did a play with me for this one, I think. Check out up there, play with me. Um, then this is this current week. So I went with green, which is fun because it matches the monthly with the green theme. However, I'm using a different color for this than I am for my dailies, which is weird, but it's a slightly different shade of green. Anyway, uh, this is uh, the setup that I had been talking about in that weekly spread progression video, link in the corner, um, where I wanted to try doing DR144 on this side and DR81, I think it is, on this side. So far, so good. Um, I feel like having a Alistair to-do list and a standard to-do list, I'm looking at one over the other more often, but so far so good. Like I say, it's working. Um, and then there's a couple extra uh, of that spread ready to go for next time. Then tab number three has my dailies. Um, I'm currently using this uh, day on a page printout from my summer touch. She sent these to me for me to take a look at and I'm really liking it. I wasn't, I wasn't 100% that it would be like true love but I'm really, really liking it. Um, it just seems so roomy. Um, I, I don't know what it is about it because it's still just the same size. I don't know if the grid is a different size than the Peanuts Panico that I'm used to, but anyway. Um, the idea of these is they're supposed to be for the, the Kanban method. I'm not even sure exactly if I'm saying that right, but where you have like sticky notes that you move around. And I think that maybe those little sticky flags would fit in these boxes over here. But really what I find it useful for is splitting up your daily into different sections. So the way I've split it up, obviously you have your time here, your timeline of the day. Um, it's just like a, such a small thing, but really cool and brilliant. I think that there's like a blank space in the top and the bottom. I don't know. It's like it could be for anything. Um, then up here, I've put the things that I want to get done during the day. These are the things I want to get done in the evening. And then I wrote focus here on this header, but basically, um, this top box for me is social media posts. The second one here, I put three boxes for the stretches I want to do every day. Then the next section here is for my main project for the week, which is doing some prep work stuff that my mother-in-law signed me for the baby's birthday party. Um, then this next box, which I outlined in green is the dinner plans for the evening. And then finally, I have, um, I've just been kind of writing like a very small little affirmation for myself based on what I'm feeling that day. And then I filled one of the boxes in with just some washi tape for decoration. So it fits pretty well, this narrow ish washi. And then this one I have, the strips are exactly correct with the header. So I figured just a touch. And then I'm just using mild liners for the coloring. And this here is the friction colors. Same thing last couple of days. And I'm, like I said, I'm really liking it. It's working really well. And I'm sure there's, there's really infinite uses that you could think of for what to do with these different sections. Um, I have seen one person, I, I couldn't tell you who it is, but I've seen one person using this who like outlined like three of the boxes together with a highlighter to sort of set it aside as a separate, like bigger section. You can do that too. So I have them printed out. They are dated. So I printed them out for the end of the week. And then I actually messed it up. I was going to print Monday on the back of this, but for whatever reason, my printer fed like two pages at once. So what I ended up with on the back was blank. Um, I printed a note page on the back 
it's all covered in stickies because what I found that I actually wanted a second page of notes here because this week is crazy um, and we're filing an insurance claim for the house. So there's a lot of stuff written on here. I did some long form math um, for the dimensions of the backyard because I'm buying topsoil and I just have like claim numbers and phone numbers and notes and things. Um, that I'm, you know, as I'm on the phone and stuff, I need somewhere to write. And that was something that, um, I, previous to this week, I was using a Peanuts Planner Code Dan a Page freebie insert. It's great. I love that insert. Um, but one thing I was finding, I, I kind of like taking out my week's inserts at the weekend and replacing them so that I can start my Monday with just Monday and the picture of the baby like this. And but I like that. Um, but there's seven days in a week, right? Which is an odd number. Brilliant brainstorm. Hey, seven days in a week. Anyway, um, so what I was doing like last week, which I posted on my Instagram, I took the two columns and I had timed stuff for Saturday and untimed stuff for Sunday. Um, and that was fine. But it's brilliant. Why not just have a blank note page on the back? And then these are notes that I'm not going to need after this week. Um, because this is all going to be resolved by Friday. Uh, but having the notes, they're just a place to scribble stuff down because I had, I started the claim and I made the first phone call like on Sunday and I was trying to write the stuff on my daily instead of my brain dump, which is cluttered and a mess and it needs to be replaced. But I wanted to, in theory, have room for it on my daily. But this is kind of like having room for notes on a daily except you don't have to set aside space that's not going to get used, if that makes sense. That's what I'm really liking. Okay, so I have note paper at the end of my weeklies. So that's fine. Now, let's move on. <laughs> We've got the next tab here is for projects and such. I used to have six tabs back here, and now I have four. So, and they're not in order either, which is confusing. But I'm not looking to change it yet. Um, this has some, yeah, project pages and such. So this is my pumping countdown. Uh, oh, blog post. Wait, I don't know if I can link a blog post, but check out my blog. I just, guys, I created a blog, gunchyplans.com. I was going to make an official announcement, but you guys get to know if you watch this far into the video, I did a blog post about this. So check that out. Uh, notes for the birthday party, a list of things I need to declutter, list of things like a weekly cleaning schedule, uh, books checked out of the library, notes for the game I play, the debt tracker that hasn't been updated in a while, gift ideas. This thing is a lifesaver, guys, because I just jot down whenever I have an idea for a gift, uh, for usually for my husband and for come Father's Day, I just turned here and I was like, ah, perfect. And then I got him one of the things that I had already written down. And he was super uh, jealous that he hadn't thought of, a, I don't know. He liked the gift is my point. On the back is a wish list for stuff for myself. If I ever have like Amazon credit or something, list of shows I want to watch. Uh, this is blank, but this is a space. It probably doesn't need to be in here, but this is a space for like journaling about feelings. Uh, then instead of having a separate section, separate tab for baby stuff, I just have this still in here sort of separating it, uh, packing list for the babysitter. It still needs to be updated, but this is the calendar of who's watching the baby when. Questions for the doctor. Then the next section is YouTube stuff. So I'm going to flip through some of it pretty quickly and then move on. Um, still have this little flyleaf here. Um, instead of having a calendar, I went ahead and I printed out these 52 week spreads from Peanut Planner Co. Um, I wish that, like, I kind of want to go through and add dates because it's a little tricky. Like, I don't know automatically, oh, we're in week 25, but I guess we are. So there we go. Um, but I just have two of these. One is for the Thursday videos and one for the Sunday videos. Just helps me kind of plan ahead without it being like, I without having to print out a new calendar every month. Um, I went ahead and I hole punched all of these little mini icon stickers that I use for planning my editorial scheduling. Um, and I just stuck them in here. So those are handy. These, uh, this is a list of post ideas. And then this here is, um, 
what I've come up with for my video planning. Previously, I had had just note pages and I was finding that I was filling up like two to three videos per page each side. Um, and then I was like, well, let's just make these little half pages. And so I printed them both sides and I was like, well, then what if I finish the video on the front, but not the one on the back? The idea is I don't like having stuff in here that's done. That's just clutter. The point of the rings is that I can pull it out when it's done. So um, none of these are printed single side. These are all still printed double side, but I've decided I'm only using the front of them. Um, and I've printed out some more and I haven't cut them yet, but that's the idea going forward is I'm just going to keep these little printables that I made myself. Um, and they just sort of have a, a checklist of tasks to get done, place for, you know, a couple other notes and things, and then room just to sort of freestyle what I'm going to talk about. I can always jot more on the back if I need more extra space for notes, but there we go. Um, and then I think starting from here on out is stuff that I don't really want to show you. Um, related to other content planning. I've been using these little pink and purple sticky flags uh, just to sort of note uh, different spreads that I want to remember where they are. Um, I think I'm getting to a critical mass of where I have more than is useful and it's hard to find what you need just based on there being a flag for it. But anyway, that's what we have. Um, then this used to be the very front flyleaf, but I stuck it in here because I needed a divider for another sort of pseudo section. This is another My Summer Touch insert that I printed out and cut and am excited to start using, but have not yet. This is the project planning insert. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. It looks like it's going to be super cool and useful. It's in here. I haven't used it yet, but it's ready for me to get started when I have a spare minute. Next section is my Hogwarts stuff calendar. I, uh, I went ahead and I redid my to-do list. This is my master to-do list. It used to have like four sections and now it has two because I resigned from two of my jobs. Um, so instead of it being sideways um, and on the back of it page, I went ahead and I have it like tasks on one side and checklist on the other so that I don't have to turn the notebook to see what I'm talking about. So that's the idea. This side here, also the same thing. This was horizontal. Uh, these are the courses for WizU, which that's the one job I still kept. Uh, and so I have it also this way instead of sideways. And then on the back of it, these are a couple ideas I have for WizU that I just kind of needed a place to write them down so that they don't get lost, even though they may never get acted on. And then this is some notes for a project I was working on, some other notes for smaller things that I just needed somewhere to write it down. Why not write it here? I can probably take this out at this point, but I haven't. And then the final tab is because I needed a tab to know where my brain dump section was. And I think this is mostly covered in stickies also, but I have two different brain dump pages and I think both of them are nearing fullness and need to be replaced. But these are just where I can jot down any old note um, if like all of these stickies here are like addresses of places I needed to be at a certain time or whatever. So I would write down what we were doing on the monthly or the weekly. And then I put the address in the back, um, kind of honestly, cause of you guys, and it makes it easier for me <laughs> to just cover it up in one place. But there we go. And then in the back, I have some spare paper. Um, this keeps kind of slipping off, but I just have a binder clip that clips all of these pages to each other. And then I use that as my pen holder. And that is it. So like I said, it's been uh, a little bit switched up and um, fairly switched up actually. Like if you watch last month's video, which if I still have room, I will add a link up in the corner. Um, You'll have seen that it was slightly different. Like I said, six sections in the back instead of four. Um, so it feels always good to be switching things up and keeping it fresh, which I, I find useful and, and invigorating, I guess. Anyway, I hope that you found that useful, entertaining, enjoyable, or monotonous enough to fall asleep to. Um, if so, sleep well. And if not, I will see you guys in the next one if you remember to subscribe. So I will see you on Sunday. Bye. Thank you.